Hello everyone. My name is Faith Woods and our passion at Mission Partners is to bring rescue and hope and purpose to people in poverty in Ukraine and Belarus, encouragement to people who are hurting, and messages of truth to people who are searching for answers. If you're enjoying this video, click the subscribe button below. So last December I was in a little town called Krushinka, Ukraine. We were there to bring some Christmas gifts for the community kids. There's a soccer club there run by the local church. And we really had so much fun putting together the little boxes of treats for all of those kids. And we had our little Christmas presentation at the school gym. That's where the kids practice soccer skills in the wintertime. And then after that, we decided to head out into the community and give out some bags of food for families who were struggling to have enough food for the wintertime. So we are driving around and we pull up to this building that's clearly not finished and the local pastor and our guide, Max, he starts pointing to the building and he's talking about this unfinished house. And I decided that we had somehow come to look at this building. Unfinished and abandoned buildings, it's not really an uncommon thing to see in Ukraine. I figured Max was kind of talking about how it was a shame that the house never got finished and how terrible it was that it was vandalized because there was spray paint all over it. But I have to confess that I was a little confused, but I happen to be kind of a roll with it sort of person, so I didn't say much. But then Pastor Max gets out of the vehicle and he starts walking towards the yard beside the unfinished house. There was this really strange looking metal covered shipping container sitting in the yard at the side and, and I thought it was for storage. But by this time, obviously I was even more confused. I didn't know what we were doing there, but he starts heading towards this door that suddenly opens in the side of this makeshift building. I was even more surprised when I, out of the door pops the head of a young woman. And I soon found out that this was a young single mother named Renata, and this was actually her home. Now I've been traveling to Ukraine for almost 20 years, and I'm always saddened to see the poverty and the hopelessness of the people. But for the first time in a really long time, Renata and her home and what I discovered inside, it truly shocked me to my core. In fact, when we first started walking up to this makeshift home, I was sure it was some kind of storage container. But when we finally went inside and I met the home's occupants, I almost cried. This home was in fact one tiny little room big enough for a bed, a crib and a hot plate. There was no bathroom, there was no kitchen and no refrigerator. There was, however, a single mother with two six-month-old twin girls named Sabrina and Sviatoslava. Sweetest little girls. All Renata wanted. Two things, a job so she could care for her girls and a double stroller for the babies because they were both too big to fit in the single stroller that she had. She couldn't even leave her room because she had nothing to put the girls in. You see, Renata had lost her job at the boiler factory in town because of the babies. And unfortunately, there was no father in the picture. Now, I don't remember the last time that I felt so moved and so helpless. This young woman was living in what I probably would have called a shed. It wasn't fit to be called a home, but it was all she had. And for the honor of living there, she even had a landlord that was charging her rent. Now, Pastor Max, our host, and my coworker Andre and I, we prayed. We prayed that God would provide a job for her. We left her some food, of course, diapers for the girls, and I left enough money to purchase a double stroller so that Renata could get out of the house with her daughters. You see, these are the kinds of people that we want to bring comfort and joy to. People like Renata who have, they have nothing, and they so desperately need the words of hope that we can bring. We want to share Jesus. I want to share Jesus. So maybe this is how we can reclaim Christmas this year from the pandemonium of 2020. We can share the good news that Jesus came to save us from Satan's power. You know, you can share this message too. Take a step out, do something nice for a neighbor. So if you wanna learn more about Mission Partners, you can click the link at the top to visit our website at mpiconnect.org. Thanks for watching. See you next time.